Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, and it is now time to take on the boss battles of Heroes Jubilee Catalyst number 41. Uh, my scores are decent, I'm happy with it. I mean, none of my weapons are enchanted, so if I were to enchant them with crit damage or something, I could probably break a million. Uh, I just, I don't really feel like doing it right now. But uh, these fights, gonna be a bit rough without the new meta. However, because it is a space enemy and it is an, uh, you want to use Earth, you do have the option to use Warrior's Mind for both of these fights, and they'll get you reasonably solid scores throughout, especially this fight, because, you know, you have Violet and Lumi as AoEs, so the only thing is that they're physical. So if you have the Warrior's Mind team and you, and you didn't summon for the Prosper team like I told people to, it, it'll work. It'll work just fine. So the first fight is the AoE stage. My score 322. It is using the meta. Uh, it starts with a two, uh, two sorry, two orange hands. So Rieger is going to be good here, and they don't really do all that much. They do hit reasonably hard, and so this these fights definitely scale off of total HP. Like the score for remaining HP is a hefty chunk. So having you know that extra 100% HP cap being fully healed from the Prosper team, that will account for a lot of points. But if you don't have it, you don't have it, and you just have to make do with it. But you do have the Grit effect on, which means that you cannot die. So no matter what you do, no matter how much damage you take, you will not die. You just won't have a very good HP score, which, you know, is both good and bad, because at least you can use your full team forever. Uh, Yuki does AoEs, uh, Footman attack, and lowers physical attack. This happens on, I think, turn one. So for turn one for the AoE boss battle one stage, you do not want physical characters up front, at least the ones you're nuking with. So for Warrior's Mind, both Lumi and Violet stay in the back turn one. Um, he also nullifies statuses for a single target. So the Idols, the Vengeance team, one of them will have their status removed. Not everybody, though, which I guess is nice. And then Tear seals Pierce and Synergy up. She nerfs Greens. And, you know, that, that's about it. So, let's just kind of dive into Boss Battle 1. Alright, the first team is the meta plus Octagram Lumi, because you're wanting to nuke with both Lumi and Elmesia, so you want the extra ult, you want the AoE damage. It's going to be very important. Uh, Rimuru also will be a secondary nuker, but I'm not trying to get his EX ult. I want these two more than I want his. Rieger will handle our turn 1 and our ult swapping. And then for Maribel, I believe I put on the alt gauge on blue charm, just to help us ex expedite the alt getting process for this team. And again, none of my weapons are enchanted. Octogram Lumi is double skill fused for you know both of her buffs, but otherwise it's, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to make sure you have enough points on turn 7 to use the HP up and the heal skill. That way it's active for turn 8, which is pretty tricky. Alright, so turn 1, there's the pierce and synergy seal, not a big deal. You can still naturally pierce or naturally synergy from that you know 2% that everybody has, but you're not going to be able to apply like a rate up from Octogram Guy or Dark Shion for pierce or something like that. So Rimuru comes out, we'll bring Almizia and Lumi in, we'll send all these orbs, it doesn't matter who you hit. Uh, we're, uh, we are going to get a double stack of Maribel because of Lumi's trait and uh, Violet's trait that under, that's underneath Lumi. So that is nice. We are taking damage. It's fine. And now begins the, the fun, fun process of using Lumi seven turns in a row. And unfortunately, that's the case. You have no dedicated green orb changer. If you can get one or even two hands of just a Rieger convert then you're looking pretty good, especially towards the end of the fight where Lumi's Convert is like 75 points, and it's all you can use in a turn. It's it's not great, and it's one of the reasons why I just I despise this team so much, and it's because, oh yeah, look at that hand. Guess what that means? Another Lumi Convert, and you're pretty much locked in. So you have to find some times to bring in Octogram Lumi, use her buffs, try and get as many as you can without breaking the bank, because again, Lumi's Convert will get very expensive very quickly, even if it gets reset by 10 points every single turn. 
You know, it starts at 35, it's 55, then it's 45, then it's 65, then it's 55, then it's 75, then it's... It, it slowly consumes your world, unfortunately. So here, another double stack. The super guard does help cut the damage, but honestly, the only, like, we're gonna be healed to maximum with Lumi, Elmizi, and Rimuru on the final turn, so any damage they take, it does not matter. The damage that Rieger and Octogram Lumi take will matter, and it will contribute to your score going down. So, unfortunately, you know, looking at this, we can alt-swap away with Rieger, and then we're gonna have to use Lumi again for a third turn in a row. And now we have 20 points, which means we don't have enough to do anything. So we're gonna bring Rimuru back in, double stack of Maribel, this is, what, 90% weakness strike on everybody now? It does add up very, very quickly. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My Almesia hits harder than Rimuru because of her support being better. Uh, man. Yeah, so five turns left. Oh, we naturally pierce there, so there we go. Oh, and look, another Lumi hand. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? Alright, you know, I'm, I'm doing this section of the video because I have to because it's the meta. Otherwise, I just wouldn't include it. Uh, and, you know, I really hope that people didn't summon for this meta. They should be saving. And there we go. Alt swap. Orb change. The next video, the next section will be the Warriors Mind Team, and you know it's a pretty decent team overall. It's crit focused. It's got nukers. You have that extra advantage damage against the space enemies. You're looking pretty good. All right, so this is three turns left, and what do you know? We've got a Rieger convert. Thank the Lord. So this is definitely helpful right here. So after all this, you know, kicks out. All right, so we got to use a reconvert, which is kind of expensive, and we'll use the orb change. And now we bring, um, we have to use the Lumi skill with Rimuru up front. So we're gonna bring Octogram Lumi in. We'll use one stack of her AOE buff because it's pretty important, and then we'll bring Rimuru in, and that will give us, I think, no, it actually won't give us enough points. Okay, so maybe I should have done the heal skill now instead of the AoE buff, but, you know, we'll we'll make it work. This does, however, get everybody's ults. The EX ults and then Rimuru's uh, normal ult. So that is very good right there. 55k. All right. So ideally, here, you would also want a Rieger convert, but we don't have it. So <laughs> Rimuru's going to come away after we use Almizia's skill. Or, no, Lumi's heal skill. Because we need to make up, and we need to be full healed before everything comes out. And now I have to make the decision, like, how many points am I going to get if I use 30? So, we're going to make a quick cut here, because I think I, I think about this for a while. Okay. So, we're still doing math. We're going to use the heal skill now, 30 points down. We're going to send Rimuru away, and we're going to bring in that blue Lumi orb now. And these two blue Lumi orbs will guarantee that we make those points back after we use Maribel. So, Maribel? 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 You gonna use Maribel? Nope. Okay, there's Maribel. Alright. Now the blues are buffed. Now we make back the 30 points. A stack of Maribel on the next turn does not matter, because the weakness strike kicks in at the very end of the turn when the fight's done. And we're going to heal back all the damage on Rimuru, Amnesia, and Lumi anyway, so it doesn't matter what we take um, on the following turn. So now, excellent, we've got 100 points, that's what we need. Rimuru comes in for Rieger, good. And now we'll use his magic attack plus the 150 skill points, and we have enough to use the two buffs. So the only thing we were not able to use was the extra Elmesia HP skill, which is kind of unfortunate because that would definitely help our score out. 1.6 million, 2.7 million, 2.7 million for Rimuru, 145k, 229k, 16.6 overall damage is, I mean, fairly good. Again, none of my weapons are enchanted, so we're not getting, like, any extra crit damage or anything. But if you look at the HP score, it's a 0.5 multiplier. So whatever your HP is, just half of that is just score. And so if I had the extra HP buff on from Almesia, this would be 168,000, or 268,000, and I'd get 134,000 points instead of 67. So, it's a hefty chunk of the score. 
but trying to fit both the heal skill and the HP skill in is horribly rough. So good luck if this is what you're trying to do. Alright, Warrior's Mind, Felzard. Rieger is here because we need him turn one. We've got uh, Primal Demon Jean. If you do not have her, then you can just use the Warrior's Mind Rimuru and you can rush the ults and maybe nuke twice. Uh, that's certainly something, but I, I brought Jean. But she is replaceable on this team. Um, but her other skill also gives us that weakness strike and the element resistance down. I mean, it, we've proven from her own meta that it's not the greatest skill, but if you combine it with everything else we're doing, it does add up nicely. And the 300 points means that we have enough points to use everything, plus an orb change. So, um, Guy is here. He will be nerfed. He needs to be in the front line turn one because, again, they nerf physical buffs turn one. So our two AoE ladies in the back need to stay in the back turn one. So Guy is not going to do optimum damage. But he is still giving guaranteed crits and giving an alt buff. And then Violet and Lumi are giving their own support buffs. Lumi's got the gimmick extra alt gate or extra protector gauge. Lumi's got the buffs. So, I mean, overall, this team does really good damage. It's just that you have no defense and you have no healing unless you put a heal charm on, which you can certainly do. Or you use an alt rush um, charm, like the alt gauge on blues. I think that's what we're using here. So turn one, we will use Rieger's Convert, great, and we will run it like this. We will run it like this. Guy and Jean will be nerfed. Unfortunate, but necessary. They are not the AoE characters. They are not going to do optimum damage. And that's a good hand. We can just use Rieger again. So there's the physical nerf now, but they never apply it again. They never apply it again. So we don't need to worry about the two ladies, and they need to now be up front and get their EX alts. I like to get an alt for Guy, because he does add up to like almost a million damage still with everything going on. Um, but EX alt for him is out of the question, right? Unless you get serious orbs for him and no one else. And it's not really what you're shooting for. So here, I mean, we don't have Lumi to full convert everything, but we can still make it work. We have a lot of converters on this team, and we're pretty balanced, right? So Velzar kicks in. Secret skill gauge increased by 40%, so this helps us achieve EX alts for the girls, because we're not bringing Warrior's Mind Rimuru to alt rush just 100% of our gauge by the end of the fight. So we're going to send it. We're trying to get an alt, and we got an alt for Guy, and that works out fairly well. So now we can orb change with him, and he can go away. We're still going to put some stacks of Velzard on him, because I still want him to hit, you know, hard-ish. A million is hard, but... You know, we gotta do what we gotta do. So now we'll leave, we'll bring Jean in for Rieger, maybe? No? Okay, whatever. Doesn't really matter. We've got an alt for Lumi, that's good. And obviously if you're, you know, if you don't have an alt gauge on blue charm, then you can just run a heal charm instead. And that will definitely help your score out, because you will take a lot of damage with this team. But it's probably not going to be as impactful as you getting multiple EX alts and an alt for Guy. So here, boom, we got stacks. We can use Guy's orb change. We'll pull him out, and then we'll get another blue coming in for Jean instead. And then we can send this. We've got the EX alt for Lumi. That's great. Now we need some violet orbs. Like, we really, really, really need some violet orbs to kick over. And that's not really what we're getting here. So... <laughs> unfortunate. Alright, take some hits. They don't hit that hard on their normals until, like, certain phases of the fight. And then you'll start to notice that your HP bar is kind of missing. So there we use Lumi's extra skill, her gimmick, the extra protector gauge. So now we can use Velzard three times in this turn. So that's, what, 36% attack right there for all three of our characters. Looking pretty good. And our orb is very, very lucky, because we've got two greens, but they're both violet orbs. So we can then bring Rieger in, alt swap, and then just use violets. And then that gives us three violet orbs with another one incoming. So this is how we got violets um, all. We're not quite there yet, but we have a guaranteed orb for her next turn, and we need, like, two. And we get four. So we got very, very lucky there. So here... Uh, and again, it's all Violet Orbs, and they're only greens, so excellent. Alt Swap, Convert, 
Um, Guy is going to be missing a stack here because I can't bring him in uh, reliably and then convert that green that would be incoming from Rieger. So, unfortunate it is what it is. We'll bring Jean in, though, right? Because we need to apply her weakness debuff, or her weakness strike, to the two AoEs. And I just want to make sure that we have an, ult, or an orb for her, so we do, thankfully. So here we go. Coming up on the nuke turn, two EX alts, and then one guy alt in the back. Looking pretty good. So now we've got 460 points. Nice. We will use the debuff from Jean. Boom. And then we'll use her give me more points skill. Which doesn't really give us a lot, but it caps us back. And I guess that's nice. Because I want Guy to also get the debuffs and the buffs from Lumi and Violet to help with the damage. So I don't want to use those now and then have him miss out on it. Because I want everyone to be as full power as possible. It just Guy can't get that weakness strike. So one, and then we'll use one, two, three, four, and then five. And we have enough points now to use literally everything in the turn. And that gives us a full hand of blues and maximum power buffs. So Violet doesn't have any effect. So we're going to send Lumi first because she lowers, I think, physical resistance or something like that. And then we'll send Guy last. Even though he's physical nerfed, he's going to hit hard with his buffs. So 1.8 million, 1.8 million, Guy 957k, almost a million. And then his 200% orb does 138. Maybe I should have sent Violet instead. Oh, well. But, I mean... We did 13, right? Around 13, and the meta team in the last clip did 16-something. So we're not that far off, it's just that look at that HP score. It's abysmal. So that's where your score is really going to tank. But the Warriors Mind team can still put up very good numbers. And if you don't have Earth Jean, then you're not going to hit 13. You're going to hit probably more like 11 or something. But it's still pretty good. So, there we go. There's the Warriors Mind Team. Please use this instead. It's a very old team, and, you know, if you've been summoning and they've been on banners, you may or may not have pulled them. Alright, the next team is using Renard. We're going to still use Rieger, Ontogram Lumi, making a return, Guy making a return, Violet, and then EX Murin. Earth AoE magic character will get buffed by the magic buff, the alt buff, the alt buff, and the AoE buff, and then Renard stacking weakness strike and alt resistance down. Um, you know, if you don't have Guy, then bring a different orb changer, I guess, that can also alt buff, or maybe just bring another orb changer instead. Um, you know, this is, I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. Earth does not have a lot of units to use. That are magic focused. I mean, there's Mirai, there is the old other Mirren that's not an EX, but they're both single targets, so they're not really too great for this stage. And even this Mirren, she's defensive, right? So she's not going to do the most damage, anyways, but at least you have an AoE Nuker to begin with. <laughs> so maybe I should have put Guy in the back and not had him be nerfed on tur- actually no, I did move away, so we're gonna get nerfed here. Never mind. I did what I wanted to do. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Okay, so now we can get an ult with Guy, we can get an EX ult with Mirren, hopefully both. I didn't know I had to reset this. Hold on. Let me make sure this is the right clip. Okay, we fast forward to turn two again, or the end of turn one. We move Guy to the back, we use the Rieger orb change, called it good. All right. So now we're going to use the AoE buff for from Lumi on Mirren. It's the only one that really is going to matter. We'll do a stack of Renard. Renard, you know, again, is good for generic support. And I said that when he came out. Like, he's not the greatest thing in the world. But as a generic leader, as long as you're nuking with a character that has type advantage, like, he'll work. He will definitely work. So here, you know, sending six orbs. Guy is stronger, so we'll use this. We got a good guy hand right there, looking very, very nice. The traits kick in, we get some extra protection gauge. That's turn three, so I think Violet and Guy's traits were the ones that were working. And then we'll bring Lumi in for Violet, and then we'll use both of her buffs now. So one, two. And then we'll also use the attack nerf with Mirren. It's not maxed out. I think it's like level seven or eight or something like that. But it does mean that we will take less damage. And the less damage we take means the more health we end up having, which means the higher our HP score will be. 
So making sure that they are attack nerfed for most of the fight is just nice and helpful, I guess. So while Mirren doesn't output, you know, a butt ton of damage, we do have the capability of lowering their attack power as well. So one, two, we have enough points to use both of those, and then the Rieger alt swap. That's what I was making sure of. So you can come out, alt swap away, a double stack of Re uh, of Renard, sorry, R names. Okay. I mean, we're looking fairly good. And we've also got a heal charm on. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but we've got the single target heal, just to make sure that we can top people up and we can end the fight with as close to max HP as possible. And since we're on a blue stacking team, we're going to get the protector a lot. So it means that we can heal quite a bit, alongside not taking as much damage because they're attack nerfed. So alt swap, orb change. All right. So we don't need to use the AoE buff with Lumi anymore, we just need to use the alt buff one more time after this turn. And we still have three turns left, so we're looking pretty good. There's the EX alts for both our Earth characters, so that's very nice. Even though we are running a heal charm, we were able to get it, which is great. And then we have an alt for Lumi, who has does not have type advantage, okay, but she is still an AoE character. She is still going to get the alt buffs, and she's got the AoE buff, so it's like, she's not going to do amazing damage, but she will certainly add to the score, right? More than what Rieger or Violet will do, by all means. So there's the final stack. We can bring Rieger in for her now, and that gives us, again, a great hand for Rieger's alt swap and then Guy, and then we can, again, lower their attack, so that'll be active for the rest of the fight. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. Heal kicks in, we top up Rieger, and then we go ahead and send this. And, you know, what else do we do? 8,600 damage from Mirren, and then guys, 200%, 22,000. Okay, we can make this work. Alt swap, orb change, orb change. And we're good. And we're good. So Rieger's going to take damage, but also he's going to get healed here from Renard. And then the final turn, next turn, we just bring Lumi in after we bring Violet to do the magic buff for Mirren. And that's the fight right there. So, uh, just making sure I have enough points here, honestly. That's what I'm doing, trying to do some math. All right. So, there we go. Make the cut. Renard heals that. Renard heals Mirren. Okay. Okay. Orb change, boom. Lumi comes in here for Guy. Both of those alts get swapped. Rieger orb change, Lumi comes in, or not Lumi, Violet comes in. And then we send this. So now we're ensuring that both Lumi and Mirren are gonna get the magic buff, which will just help our damage. And then we can bring Guy in, and we can do the ult and everything. And that is an excellent looking hand right there. Very, very nice looking hand. So magic buff for both the AoEs, and then Guy. EX ult. We've got three alts going, and we only need to use this. So we can we have enough points to use the ult, or, uh, sorry, orb change, because the only other big buff we have is the, the alt buff for Guy. He's going to give himself guaranteed crits. Unfortunately, that's not for Mirren or Lumi because they're magic. But we are nice and topped up, right? Their attack is nerfed. We're at full HP, essentially. And yeah, we have everything. We've got the three stacks of the AoE buff. We've got the four stacks of the alt buff from Lumi. We are at maximum power. So let's go ahead and send it. Lumi does 170. Okay, across the board. Mirren does almost a million, sure. And the guy does three quarters of a million. So we're going to end up at around 4.5 million total damage, somewhere around there. Yeah, very, very, just over it. And there we go. I mean, we didn't take that much damage throughout the fight. We've healed back a lot of it. We did four and a half million. It's not a great score, but if you're trying to nuke with a defensive Mirren, then you're already in the toilet. So there's that. All right, the final team, Vengeance. We had to use it. You could also use the idols. I mean, they, they technically do work as well if you have access to them. Uh, they do have type advantage and the extra damage against space enemies because you're nuking with you know, Mirai and everything. So they're certainly an option, but it's a collab, so I didn't really want to record them. 
Uh, so Vengeance, Belzard, Earth Mirren, Earth Veldora, Yom, Raphael. Earth Trainee is here to heal. I thought I was going to use her alt damage cut, but I, I never actually used it. At least I don't think so. Uh, so if you don't have Earth Trainee skill fuse, you can bring like Wind Lumi or something like that and have an orb changer and a healer, you know, all in one. Whatever really works out for you. But the whole name of this game is to use Vengeance a whole butt ton. They hit you a lot of times. So you can get pretty high stacks of Vengeance with this team. And you just have Converter, 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 and then the Guard and everything. So you don't take a lot of damage. Alright, so because I have a healer, and because we're not running blue orbs, we've got the Protection Gauge on Green Charm. Now, greens are nerfed in this fight, but only for a couple of turns. So you only have to survive a little bit. And we're going to send four blues right here. If you have the big three, it means you, you will get a Velzard. Uh, had a five send of Aaron right here. So, I, I mean, I guess that's cool. We're just going to do it because there's no point in trying to orb change out of it. Um, we'll see in how much protection gauge we get right there. I do, I do kind of want to use Velzard, but I kind of don't because I haven't used any skills yet. And we would really be using the... Uh, the reset very efficiently. This is a much better hand though. We have 76 points so we can use one orb change, the green buff, and then we can bring in Yom for his blue orb change. And that'll get us at least a good starting value. And then we can use Velzard, get all those points back, get the vengeance counterattack on. We'll bring Raphael in for uh, Aaron. I probably should have swapped him out for Valdora, but oh well. It is what it is. We're going to get max points here, and that's the important thing. And now we've got the Vengeance counterattack, so we can get some stacks in. And again, they hit us a lot. And so that 6 end with the green buff and the charm for the 40% protection gauge, it actually got us quite a bit. And then we got the God Hand. Natural, 6 natural greens, and they are no longer nerfed. So now we don't really have to worry about it. So Vengeance, Vengeance, the Seal, which gives us just extra you know, defense so we take less damage. And we still have 25 points, so I don't really feel like using anything. So, Velzard? Yeah, Velzard. Reset it. Excellent. Send it. This is very lucky. This is what I wish I got, you know, for you know the, the meta team, where I just got a natural hand of blues. But we can't all be winners, can we? Uh, this team has no alt swapping, and alt, and the alt damage is not the point of this team. So if you get alts, just send them. Just send them. Unfortunately, we used up all our green luck, though. And then the game gave us no greens at all. And no Veldora orbs to convert. So I think here I send the alt and the three Yom orbs, because what else am I going to do? Um, do we use Vengeance here? Or do we just kind of take it? I can't remember. Okay. We're going to not use any points, because we wouldn't really make that many back, probably. Yeah, so a turn of no vengeance, just what they're going to do from their alts, which Footman is an AoE, Tyr and Yuki are both single targets, so that's one stack, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stacks of vengeance right there, and it does 88k. All right, cool. That's an okay hand, not really though, actually not really at all, unfortunately. <laughs> The game is trolling me. We could be doing so much better than this right now, but it is what it is. We'll still convert. The four greens and the alt will get us max points. It's just not going to get us max, you know, protection gauge. It is what it is. We're towards the end of the fight anyways. I just need to make sure I have 100 points. Because we don't need to use Velzard all that much now. That we're at the end of the fight. We just need to apply as much vengeance as possible. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 stacks of Vengeance right there, because it counts the instant damage skill that he does. So we're up to 41 stacks, and, you know, if luck had been better for us this round, we probably could be much higher than that. Maybe around 50 stacks instead right now. But we aren't, so we can't. So Orb Change, Vengeance, Vengeance. Orb Change, Orb Change, Vengeance, Vengeance. Alright, cool. Liam, again, these four orbs will get us back up to max points. We have a Velzard, so we can reset. So we can use the two final stacks of Vengeance next turn. And we can get probably around 55. 
One, two, three. Yeah, that's not a lot of hits right there. We're up to 1.5 million, though, off of just Vengeance damage by itself. So there's nothing really we need to do here except for use use the Vengeance skills. We could either do them now or we don't do them. It Like, it really does not matter. We just need to use them. So I don't know what the hell I'm thinking about right now. Uh, yeah, okay. So, okay, we're going to heal with Trainee. There we go. So, as you can see, we never used Trainee's actual skill fusion skill. We never used her to cut down the, the alt damage. They didn't do all that much to us anyways. So, Vengeance, Vengeance, send it. And we're up to 56 stacks, plus whatever they're going to do when they hit us. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 more stacks. 63, 223k a hit. And that ends our score at 2.3 million damage. So, not great. We also didn't take a lot of damage either. And we have a lot of HP remaining. So, Vengeance, you know, it, it can... It can work. It's just, you know, it's not 16 million, it's not 13 million. It's just kind of there. You're gonna live, though. But, you know, those are the four fights that I've recorded for Jubilee Boss Battle, Boss Battle 1. If you have any other team suggestions, please put them down in the comments so other people can see it. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.